EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for October 31st, 2022. It is Halloween day and the final day of the month of October. The Monday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Kinsley's Family Market in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania. Kinsley's is the world's largest ShopRite, and the ShopRite logo means they're all about food, they're all about savings, and they're all about you. We're now deep into football season, and Kinsley's has all of your favorite tailgating foods ready to serve, including shrimp, vegetable, and fruit platters, legendary wings, six-foot hoagies, and a lot more. Stop in and speak with Kevin, their catering guru, and start tailgating today in style. They are Kinsley's ShopRite, located at 107 Kinsley's Drive in Broadheadsville, Monroe County, Pennsylvania. Proud sponsors of the Monday video forecast. So we're going to start turning warmer this week, and that's the that's really the big story this week. We do have a system, a very weak system, moving through uh, later today. Uh, this is unfortunate because we have for the traditional the uh, municipalities that celebrate uh, Halloween trick or treat night on Halloween night which is or which is tonight of course um might have to be dealing with some showers in a few spots i don't think it's going to be too disruptive for the trick-or-treaters game three of the world series in south philadelphia might be a different story okay we'll see uh so here is uh that system that's going to be moving through and you see there's not a lot of precipitation in the interior it's mostly southeast areas that are getting into this this evening a few showers in the interior too overnight but i mean this isn't really a lot of precipitation so i think as far as the trick-or-treaters go you should be okay in most areas maybe a stray shower uh, but i think uh, further southeast down by the philadelphia region and point southeast you might have some some problems and it's this uh system will be exiting uh on tuesday morning and the clouds will give way to sun after that point so we're mostly cloudy today temperature 60 to 66 is the spread of temperatures across the region Normal highs right now are on either side of 60, okay? It's the last day of the month of October, so your temperature temperatures across the region are kind of like 58 to 62 in that range. So it's a little warmer than average today, and even more so on Tuesday, 65 to 70 is going to be the spread in temperatures here on Tuesday. But again, the sun is going to return in the afternoon once those early showers and clouds exit. I'm going to go over to the high-resolution rapid refresh here and use this instead of the NAM, because I think the uh, it's very close to what the European model is showing as far as placement here, and it's been rather consistent, okay? So uh, just to give you an idea of what the showers could be. Now, these are simulated radars. They're not going to be exact. They're going to give you the general idea of timing and where you can see some showers. Now, there could be an isolated shower in parts of the afternoon. This is starting off at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and as they move this forward, you can see just an isolated shower or a stray shower in a few spots in the interior, and that's it. Once we get to the evening hours, and this is uh, this is 6 p.m. right here, okay, we're still okay. That's usually the traditional start of trick-or-treating, right? Um, we get the 8, still not too bad. A few series might get a, a stray shower. Uh, the Phillies game down here in South Philadelphia is uh, scheduled to start at 8.03 p.m., so uh, a few showers are going to have to dodge there, I think, this evening, and then the concentration of that will come in probably late evening. So, uh, same thing with the interior. I think that once you get past like past mid evening, past nine o'clock, you start to see an increase in this precipitation. Whether or not they can play down here uh, under these conditions uh, remains to be seen. It's gonna have to, we're gonna just have to monitor radar and see what happens. Okay, uh, but uh, you know, as far as trick or treating, you know, being six to eight o'clock in most areas, it's probably gonna be done before all this gets in here. So this will move off to the north and east, and there, there could be some leftover again early showers on. Uh, Tuesday morning and after that point we should be clearing out except for the far northern areas might be holding on to a shower a little bit longer here on Tuesday before that uh, clearing out takes place okay so then after that point we are going to have uh, mostly sunny skies on Wednesday and Thursday temperatures are going to be warm on Wednesday and then slightly cooler just slightly uh, on uh, Thursday and Friday with temperatures about on either side of the middle 60s so Wednesday is going to be near either side of 70 degrees for highs and then middle, uh, mid to upper 60s, we'll call it for uh, Thursday and Friday. And I think this weekend, we're going to be back up into uh, challenging the 70 degree mark, if not into the lower 70s for highs. But this entire time frame, high pressure is going to be in control. So we're looking at mostly sunny skies on uh, Wednesday and Thursday, a partly cloudy day here on Friday. Saturday, also partly cloudy. And then when we get to Sunday, we'll call it partly to mostly cloudy. It's going to be ahead of this next cold front, which is going to come through early next week. So I think right now we're going to go with a dry weekend. Again, keep checking back throughout the week and see if that still holds true. But uh, right now the, slunt, the front that we were talking about may be coming through Sunday 
as recent as when I wrote the long range on Friday. It looked like it was coming through on Sunday. Now it's backing up a little bit into early next week. And most of the ensemble guidance is doing the same thing. So now this is a temperature anomaly map uh, showing what temperatures are in relation to where they should be for this time of year. Okay, so any of the uh, any of the oranges here, or the lighter oranges, are slightly above average. Any of the reds or dark oranges are going to be uh, above average temperatures. Not just slightly above, but above, okay? Uh, any of the blues, lighter blues here, are slightly below, and the greens are below average. So if I move this forward, I just want to show you what we're... What we're looking at here, you see these temperatures getting very warm in the eastern United States at the same time the western U.S. is cooling. So uh, if you wanted to draw a uh, kind of a, a trough, there's a big trough out here like this. There's a big ridge over the eastern United States and there's a big high pressure out here that's driving this uh, this warmth. So that's why you're getting the warmth, uh, you know, to start November here, relative average is going to be very warm. It's going to be warm regardless. I mean, your temperatures are, are challenging the 70 degree mark or into the 70s even. Uh, possibly this weekend, as shown right here, as you get into the above average this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So it could be very warm relative to average uh, going right into early next week. Okay, this is Monday of next week right here. So you still got that. And then finally, uh, we think that trough's going to come through. Cold front that is going to be in the lead of a trough, and it's going to bring some cooler temperatures, slightly cooler relative to average once we get into maybe the uh, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame of next week. So it will turn cooler again. But to get there, uh, we're going to have some very warm temperatures this week. So just look at it like another resurgence of early, like earlier in the autumn. So you get your last gasp of, of some really nice weather, uh, maybe even some shorts weather in a couple of those days when we just had the jackets out. Uh, but it's definitely going to be time limited. But it is an extended period. It looks like it's about a week or so that we'll have these warmer temperatures to deal with. And uh, not a lot of precipitation the week ahead once we get past this system uh, tonight and uh, into Tuesday morning. So uh, the rest of this week, we're going to go with dry conditions until we get to maybe early next week. And then that cold front will finally push through and send temperatures back down to at least where they should be for this time of year. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for October 31st, 2022. Have a great Monday.